Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, hope you guys are having a good Friday. Mine could be better, but we have days like that. We have days where it just feels tougher than others. But you know what? It's the bad days that make the good days feel better. That's what I believe. So if you're having a bad day, or you're just having it rough like I am, just remember that the days after today will feel a lot better. Because, you know, like, Newton's third law of motion, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. I feel like that can also apply to just life. For every bad day that you have, there's always a day that just feels great. So, you know, if you're having a bad day today, you have a good day to look forward to in the future. So, I hope that's something that keeps you going. Uh, I like to reinforce positivity here when I can. Because the world's on fire. But, you know... I forgot where I was going with that analogy. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, well, what is up, chat? Uh, if you're lurking, your support is appreciated. Uh... Some streamers don't like to really pay attention to lurkers. They kind of just see lurking as like a, a dumb idea. But I think, you know, lurking is just as nice. Because I, I get it, like, I usually have, like, podcasts or other streams on in the background when I'm doing my stuff. Like, I totally get it. So if you're lurking, hello. Uh, hope you enjoyed the absolute hell that is about to happen tonight. Uh, for those on YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Yakuza Like a Dragon. In the last episode, we made our way to the top of the Seiryu Clan's headquarters and exposed the criminal business practices that are happening and saved um oh my god what's her name the the girl from the soap land we we saved her dad from being put down um and we completely dismantled the entire operation uh and this episode we are heading back to the soap land to uh tell the business owner the good news and I believe we'll be starting Chapter 5, so we just might be getting into uh, that business mini game where apparently we can make a ton of money. So, in not too long, money is just not even going to be an issue. Oh, and also we got a vibrator as a weapon. I wish I was joking. <laughs> you, can, you can get a vibrator as a weapon in Yakuza 7. Why is this a thing, and who wrote this? Because <laughs> whoever they are, they are so smart. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing with this episode. We might do a sub-story or two. Um, I mean, of course, they're not going to top the sub-story about the man-baby clan, but... We might find something almost as emotionally scarring. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. So, uh, interesting thing happened today. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, I don't know if anybody has heard of or plays that MMO, but um, the complete edition was half off today on Square Enix's store. So, like, I got Final Fantasy XIV, like, all the expansions up to Shadowbringers for, like, 30 bucks. And, like, that's a really good deal. Because uh, it also gives you a month's worth of membership. and literally hours after I bought that expansion, the Final Fantasy XIV Twitch account had a live stream where they announced that a new expansion was coming out this fall, and I have never felt so much pain after a purchase in my life. <laughs> like, I spent $30 on all these expansions, and then they just throw in another one right after. <laughs> 
It's like, why? Why would you do this? Like, I feel like Square Enix saw me purchasing that and are just like, you know what? We're gonna piss this guy off. <laughs> so, that was my day today. <laughs> It was, it was honestly pretty hilarious. All right, so where are we off to now? Where are, actually, where are we needed? Because we could go up here and start another sub story. Uh, I might want to go up here just so that I can have taxi access. Because once we get money, we can just fast travel all we want. Uh, and there's also one over here by this taxi. Uh, so. Also, considering that this is the top of the map, I feel like having this area open to us will be very helpful. Uh, so we're probably gonna go do that. Uh, so yeah, let's actually do what I just said we should do. I'm good with words, I swear. Uh, I believe this is where we want to go? Is I don't think we've been around this part of uh, Tokyo before. If this is even Tokyo, I forget what part of Japan this actually is. Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah, okay, these are high level people. Uh, we gotta run. Crap, uh. Can we run? Alright. <laughs> we got the hell out of there. Thanks, text box. Oh, hey, what's up? <gasps> we can't get run over by cars? We're God! <laughs> we are basically God. And of course there's a taxi right by a group of enemies. What's up? Walking in traffic. Ooh! I'm sorry, you could actually- Okay, because I remember last episode I was saying you probably can't get hit by cars. And look what happened. <laughs> that was beautiful. Uh, definitely don't try that at home. I don't recommend getting hit by a car in real life, because that would kind of suck. It would be the big suck, and not in the way you hoped. Ooh, some items in the middle of this field. An empty cicada shell. And a stag beetle. You know, the essentials for a Yakuza. So, I think there was a side quest up here. Yes, there was. And a big crowd of enemies over there. Yikes. Dragon cart. Hmm. Huh. That's hey, you there. Ever thought about entering the wild world of Dragon Kart? Oh, is this that Mario Kart what? game that y'all were mentioning Kart? last episode? The hell's that? Some story 40. Oh, Dragon wow, we Kart shouldn't be here for a while then. That's taking this town by storm. You've seen go karts in amusement parks before, yes? <laughs> Oh, go-karts. Yeah, I don't hate them or anything, but I don't really have time to goof off in an amusement park. I'll see you around. Wait, 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 hold on now. Just a moment. Dragon Kart is quite different from your regular run-of-the-mill go-karts. Yeah, how so? Unlike those peaceful amusement parks, Dragon Cart makes its home right here in the lawless streets of Yokohama. You mean around town? That's right. You can even attack your opponents during the race, thanks to the various upgrades we have available. Sorry, did you say attack? Boy, did I. Of course, you can be attacked as well. There's a limit to how much damage your cart can take, too. Take too much, you'll be stopped dead in your tracks and lose out on time. So you need to be extremely careful. Sounds pretty extreme for go-karting. 
hence the name Dragon Cart. You can also pick up items on the track to help you along during the race. Use any means necessary to get that checkered flag. <laughs> so, what do you think? I managed to catch your interest? Eh, only a little bit. Sounds more fun when you throw in that bit about attacking each other. <laughs> yeah, violence. Speed or take down your rivals through brute force. These options are just another part of Dragon Cart's many charms. You'll be started off with a fairly standard cart, but you'll later be able to upgrade it to your liking. Anyway, I think at this point it might be best if you try getting behind the wheel yourself. Why not give it a spin when you get some free time? Dragon Cart. Racing around Yokohama does sound pretty fun. Maybe I'll try it out. Ah, you know what? Why not? Let's Hell give yeah. it a try. Let's give it a go. Please do. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Fuji Sato. They're not linear, so you can do the whenever. The only thing that makes me afraid to do uh, these ones up here is because, like, enemies are level 25 or something around here. nice to meet you. Like the lowest level I've seen is 18. Right on. Yo, this looks dope. All right, so press R2 to accelerate, press X to drift. Drive over an item box, you can hold up to two, and press circle to use the item. Colliding with a rival's cart or getting struck by an item will lower your cart's durability. When it depletes, you'll crash and lose time. So collecting dragon rings, you increase the max speed as well as recover your durability. Well, that sounds fun. Alright. Uh, just a warning. I'm gonna suck at this. I figured that was already obvious, but I figured I'd let you know. Let's do this. Oh shit! Yo, this is pretty dope. I'm loving this. Oh shit, that fire's ahead. I'm a big fan of the music here. Barely even need to drift either. Keep up, will ya? Now I'm getting fired up. Easy. I mean, it obviously gets harder as time goes on, I'm sure, but... Yeah, that was pretty fun. Definitely a fan of that. I'm sure it gets even more fun later on when you could actually, like, go faster than 60. So, how was your first race? 
Yeah, it's way different than driving a normal car. Well, Definitely duh. Thrill. Fun too. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I hope you'll consider entering one of the tournaments next time. If you thought that race was exciting, just wait till you see what comes next. And please talk to me should you ever feel like entering. <laughs> you can ask me for time trials and customization as well. So think of me as your one-stop shop for all things Dragon Cart. Yeah, sure thing. Aren't you the guy that was racing earlier? Huh? Oh, okay. Hey, you're right. Nice driving out there. <laughs> Oh, hey, Naoki-san, I saw Interesting Hamano outfits. Uh, aren't they cold? <laughs> <laughs> Great job out there. Good question, to be Very honest. nice driving. Think so? I felt like I was barely trying. <laughs> so, you a new driver? Let me introduce you. This is Ichiban Kasuga-san. Today was his first time in a cart. Oh, I see. Then hey, we might end up in a tournament sometime. Just know that if we do, I'll crush you. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> you better say your prayers. See you later, rookie. But if you value your life, it might be better for you to just watch. You know. Hold up. Huh? Oh shit's getting you real now. Say, but Damn, if you don't talk a lot of trash. You guys got me pretty fired up. But you're gonna be eating my dust next race, so be sure to open wide. <laughs> Some talk. You better remember those words. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, hey now! It's all fine and dandy to get heated, but I won't allow any fighting. If you're gonna have at it, settle it on the track. <laughs> Bye-bye, Fujisawa-san, Ichiban-kun. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> Those were definitely well, some characters. As you can see, the racers in this town are rather unique. And they're strong to boot. They're <laughs> definitely something. So wait, who all am I going up against exactly? Let's see. First, we have, uh, Naoki-san, a former Olympic wrestler. He's got power and reflexes, and if you let your guard down, he'll tear both you and your cart in half. Hama naomi san a sumo wrestler who holds third seat in the Maigashira rank. His immense power keeps others from following behind him, and he'll run you off course in no time flat. Naoki-san and Hamanoumi-san are known as the dreaded two-headed bomb. Interesting title. Ai-san, a dealer at a casino, known as the speedster of Hama. She is unrivaled when it comes to straightaways. Oh, uh, dealer at a casino, a you know what? The bunny outfit makes she sense. She the majority of her husband's money into her cart. A formidable veteran driver will obstruct anything and everything that gets near her, be it a cart or a small child. She's also fairly speedy, and together with Ison, she forms one half of a duo known to some as the Rocket Girls. One half? Who's the other one? Subaru-san, a public trading company employee, a true intellectual. He learns each and every inch of the course through his superb analytical skills, shortcuts and all. Akira-san, leader of the biker gang Agepoyo and conqueror of Ibaraki. He's in the race in hopes of expanding his territory to Kanagawa. His use of motorcycle technique is brilliant, and the graceful beauty of his cornering, combined with the malice and cruelty of his attacks, is truly a sight to behold. The Yakuza Jin-san, a super aggressive racer. It's said the man is the definition of hell on wheels. Together, Suguru-san, Akira-san, and Jin-san are known as the Drift Musketeers, and they are a huge hit with the ladies. Okay, that should cover all the recent entrants. They're all rather formidable opponents, but don't let that intimidate you. Hell of a lineup. If you can win among these racers, I can beat them all. I'll have you know, I did super country. well in 50cc Mario that. Kart. I gotcha. All right, let's do this. 
Just let me know whenever you want to race. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, you got it. I'll come by again later. A dragon cart, huh? Sounds like it'll be fun. I'll stop by when I have time. <laughs> He's sure to be a fun racer to watch. All right, well, we got that out of the way. Uh, so now, let's actually get to the task at hand. Stories to tell, trophy earned. What's that all about? Complete 10 sub-stories. Okay, so there's, like... Oh yeah, there was like, what, 52 of these? Oh, there's an item. I don't want to fight that guy, though. Let's see, where's the nearest taxi? Battery level low. That's why I just charged this thing. Thankfully, I keep a cable right by my desk for these kinds of situations. And before you say I'm a nerd, let me ask, what's your point? <laughs> Let's see, any others? There is plenty of, uh, stores down here. Might be useful later on. Uh, I'll just put a pin on the map. Wait, it says there's a shop right here? What is this, a food truck? Oh, cool! Okay, so you can buy flowers. Wow, why would you buy bouquets? Oh, probably for like, friendship... ...stuff. Tempered glass. Yo, we can make our desktops look super cool with tempered glass. Let's go. Oh, and a spider. There's a lot of stuff to find out here. Probably the best place to grind up some bugs. Well, finding them, not like actually grinding them up. You know what I meant. Oh, so there's a taxi right here. Wow, I'm blind. Let's see. Let's go down here. Wonder if you could, like, get out of a taxi and instantly get into a fight? Because a lot of enemies seem to, like, spawn around the taxis. Like, they just don't want you to go anywhere without getting into a fight. How are we doing on frame rate? How have we dropped almost 800 frames? Hello? I thought this new setup was doing fine. We only dropped, like... Less than a hundred frames last time. Hey, boss, we're back. It got pretty crazy back there, but you know what? God. Boss. No way. I guess we were away for too long. Why? Why would you? He wouldn't. Someone else did this to him. I did. That has to be the case. Soap on a rope? I don't know if that's supposed to be a Sammy Hagar reference, but it sounds like one. That's really funny. Well, I mean, the context isn't funny, but... That, 
the, the name. I'm not a bad person, I promise. Oh, chapter five. The Liamang Man. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Liamang. Oh, I didn't even say it in my announcer voice. Oh, well. Oh, I guess that's a funeral home. Seen the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. How'd they even afford the suits? People. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonamiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. Oh, Nanoha, that was her name. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Isn't that Nanoha? Nanoha son? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. Then she went shopping. Yeah, she looked great. Pretty sexy. Oh Shut my god, Nanba. She's here to pay her respects, you moron. Grow the fuck up. Nanoha son, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop. Expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already, he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Psycho is right. All right, so is Psycho your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No. I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah, 
He may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Otohime land are probably going to shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishment? So are y'all having like yeah, a going away sale or... It's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, your sisters, aren't you? What, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently, he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about I it. I feel like you have every hey, right to know about all the details. Important. That's your when dad. When told you about your sister... Did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? Why do I feel like it was the Saver You clan that actually killed him? They're the only ones who could have even had the motivation to do that. Just theorizing, by the way. Uh, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. What? You have your employees doing that? Basically. The home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho, I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. At least we have a Is good reputation. Is the that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, oh, hold on. I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. 
Hello? Uh, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa! Uh, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Lama! Lama! He's here! Lama! Okay, so it was definitely one of the Yijing three. So it was either the Seiryu clan or one of the other Yijing three. Like, I'm no language expert, but I feel like that was Chinese in the subtitles. I could be wrong, but I'm not too sure. That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. Okay, I was I right. They were speaking Chinese. Chinese mafia, then. They must have killed him. Suicide. Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why they try to make it look like a suicide? To remove huh, suspicion. I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then, why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. It's because they're part of the, the Yijing Three. The asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but... Google I don't Translate, know what baby. Means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Lao Ma? Really? That doesn't translate Lao to anything. Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. Aha! I called it! You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Oh wait, I should have known from the chapter like title, Liomong. Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. It's all coming they together. Calling the Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he, he was has on to the Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Ijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals. You name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah. He takes care of them. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. I mean, I've done payroll. Can the Leo Mom just hire me? <laughs> cop cattle. Yep. And milks them whatever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it, too. Don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Seems to be the opposite, if anything. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. So oh, that's for us. Thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. Wait, I'm surprised the Yokohama Liamong didn't even take the bonuses you know, away. It's really sad. Hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <sighs> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. But after she died, I just wanted out. 
Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? Suicide is very unpredictable at times. All my life, I felt pretty alone. But I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. Because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me. Even Nona Mia. Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but if you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's so frustrating, because it's like, Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, crass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that that nobody should care that the police can write them off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. I can't do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Well, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi-san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of? My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's I feel it. like it's those detective instincts that made you lose your position as a detective. Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Not gonna lie, tears were rolling up in my eyes a little bit. Like, that's intense, man. But it looks like we have a new party member. Oh, she's even on the loading screen. Alright, let's see uh, how she plays as a party member. Interested to see what kind of skills she'll have. Saeko Mukoda joined the party. Up. Adachi, do you know where Mabuchi's hideout is? The Yobang is still Mafia, so just like the Yakuza, they're not gonna just plaster their name on an office. On top of that, Mabuchi's a cautious bastard. Word is, he doesn't even take meetings. So we don't have any leads. <sighs> no. I wouldn't say that. You know Restaurant Road just north of here? That's where the Yobang are known to hang out. Hmm? Like a little Chinatown. It's more Chinatown than Chinatown, really. Abuji's gotta be hiding somewhere along Restaurant Row. But let's head over there and ask around. Yeah. I was trying to get hungry anyway. Hey. Don't tell me we're going down there to grab food. Eh, why not? Adachi said this is the real Chinatown, so it's gotta be good. Uh, You'll see when we get there. 
Well, sounds like a plan. Raisin Bran. What kind of gear does she have? No gear. Well, we're gonna give her a helmet for starters. Uh, stretch shirt. Yeah, that's pretty much all we have. We're, t we're basically just giving her everything that we're not currently using. Uh, we'll give her the hard leather boots. Why not? Uh, and then we're gonna give her... Well, how much HP does she actually have? Hmm. Oh wow, she has like, no HP. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna give her that then. Give her some binding. And then give her... Um... Not a sacrifice stone. Probably gonna give her a health ring, just to give her just a little boost. Uh, cause I think that'll be pretty helpful early on. Oh, it seems like we're already, uh, equipping her with the optimal gear. And she uses a handbag, so... That's interesting. Um... Let's see, what kind of skills does she have? Clobber bag, so... Light power, boxer size below... Boosts an ally's attack with buddy smiles and encouraging charm. She raises her own attack with aggressive perfume. And then entice an enemy with a calculated pose that lowers their attack, so she can lower attack. As well as raise her own and somebody else's. So she... She seems to be very stat-based, I think. Like, affecting stats. Yo, what up, Aiden? How we doing? Oh, we have a new dragon cart menu. Oh, Cerberus, Pegasus Cup, I swear this is just Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Alright. Um, we might want to upgrade her gear, because... Yeah, just at least, like, her attack. Well, hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's right, Chapter 5, that, uh, management, money management minigame opens up. What the hell is this guy doing? Dude's just chilling here? What do you think you're doing? You're just, you're just like... The dude's like, what the heck, man? Oh, okay. Uh, we should probably find that minigame somewhere. What's this guy all about? This guy just standing here with a sign? Oh. Level 11 shillboard? Oh, she goes first. Okay, she must be pretty fast then. Uh, yeah, just go for the physical. Okay, yeah, her attack is fairly weak. And then Kamiya, like the director of Bayonetta. We literally just beat up the director of Bayonetta. Nice. Well, that didn't do anything. Alright, uh, we are gonna want to find that money management minigame, though, because I, uh, I believe chat was saying that opens at chapter 5, and we're gonna need some money if we're managing four party members. Hey, somebody help! Huh? Just shut up and hand over your wallet! Come on, people, seeing this shit makes me sick. 
Don't you punks have anything better to do with your lives? Bold of you to assume they have lives, though. Who the fuck are you? Oh, perfect timing. You're with parttimehero.com, right? Who? Part-time hero? Uh, you lost me. Oh, sub story. How to be a part-time hero. Is, but if you're trying to be a hero, your ass is going down. Mm, I beg to differ. I'm here to chew gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of gum. Wait. No, I said that wrong. I was supposed to say that wrong on purpose. What? <laughs> I can't even. I just can't words today. Okay, is it just me, or are those reaction commands just a lot faster? Masuda? Yo, we just beat up Junichi Masuda. Hold up. Oh dang, she's already close to rank 4. Magic plus 5. Okay, that's interesting. Man, you really kicked ass back there. Thanks, parttimehero.com. Still don't know what this hero thing you're talking about is. What? You mean Part-time hero didn't send you? Da -da -da -da! Never fear. Part-time hero is here. Huh? So this year's our bad guy, huh? Oh, it's like Proto Man. Yep. Got the classic thug tells. Money hungry gaze, low life outfit. What is it with that hair? Looks like he set off a bomb in front of his face. Roasted! Actually, this guy right here, he We got roasted by Proto Man. For the glory of part-time heroes everywhere. I will vanquish this villain post haste. Now put up your dupes. I'm no stranger to fisticuffs. So you're open to fisting. <laughs> because I have a vibrator for a weapon. Okay. Watch this. Have fun with this. I got this. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, yeah, her skills are definitely faster. He died from pigeons! <laughs> Beautician's Finesse. These skills names just get weirder and weirder. Oh, you're no ordinary thug, are you? I'm not a thug at all, man. He's right. This guy here, he rescued me just now. He rescued you? What are you trying to say? He's a hero. Did we seriously have a loading screen in between cutscenes? <laughs> so it was all just a big misunderstanding. So wow, about that. this game must I not be a. Uh... Way of an apology, but I'd be happy to treat. This game must not way. be well optimized for PS4. I, I think it was intended for like I PS5. Fights just now. You know what? You're right. I beg your pardon. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm the president of Part-Time Hero Incorporated. Please call me Hero. But why is the president fact, doing the job though? Both after myself and the concept of a hero. <laughs> so clever. I know. Okay. Change Psycho to the idol what job. What is this Part-Time Hero thing? Uh, <laughs> gotcha. Part-Time Hero.com. Is there a particular reason why? Like I say, our current job is not good. 
all from the comfort of your smartphone. Who puts you in touch with a hero? That's what we call you when you register. You'll be taking on quests that people in need post. Upon accepting, it's your job to dash onto the scene and save the day. Well, let's hope this pays well. Well, it's an odd job service anyone can use. Uh, and it doesn't take much to start. You could choose to find pets or people if you'd rather stay out of trouble. I promise, it's rewarding work. Huh. I gotta ask, though. Why make this service if there are already others like it? What sets you guys apart? Oh, asking the good what questions. Sets us apart? Well, it's our mission to clean up the town, stopping trouble before it starts. So it's like bounty hunting then? In a way, yes. What you did just now, fighting off those thugs, that was actually a quest posted by a client. Ijincho, as you know, has an exorbitantly high crime rate. Wait, how do you That's post? I started this thing up. How do you make do you a know? post <laughs> while works. you're getting jumped? I feel like that's not no, how that I works. That guy thought I was all part-time heroed out. Well, that's another thing. The fact that there are still good... Like, if I'm getting mugged, I'm not gonna be whipping out my phone and being like, Hold up, guys, let me just call this hero guy real quick. Heroes left in the world. Yeah, all I did was punch a guy who was starting to piss me off. Anyway, see ya. Wait, 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 please, just a minute. What now? Well, if it's not... <laughs> he has two cats. Would you be willing just chilling there with the plant. As a part-time hero? So you want me as your muscle? That it? Essentially. We've been getting rave reviews, so we always have an influx of new quests. But since true heroes are in short supply, it means we're short-staffed. The biggest struggle is finding someone capable of actually winning a fight. Since these heroes are rare, a lot of our clients are still in desperate need of help. They're probably dead by now. This city is full of crime. People just don't know what's waiting for them out there. Believe me, I want to help as much as I can, but I'm only one man. And that's where I come in, huh? You've got more than what it takes. Above all, you look out for the little guy and let no evil go unpunished. We need people like you at my company and on the streets. You'll receive compensation, of course. It's a job that feels satisfying and pays well. So what do you say? Will you keep this city safe for all of us? No. <laughs> Doesn't sound like such a bad gig. Plus, I get paid. Right, Might as well give it a out. try. Not sure how much help I can be, but why the hell not? That's what I like to hear. Okay, then. Let's rescue this city together. Looking forward to it. Oh, and I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san! Got it. Then allow me to fill you in on the details. Oh boy. So completing part-time hero quests will date you rewards such as money and items. Quests will automatically be received depending on the state of your progress. These can be checked under the part-time hero quests in the pause menu. Oh my god, that's a lot of text. Talk about death by wall of text. Support quests will include deliveries, in which you'll be tasked with delivering specific items. Rescue in quests include takedown quests, where you need to defeat specific enemies throughout the city. Upon completing these task tasks, report back to the reps at locations such as convenience stores to mark the quest as completed. Urgent takedown and delivery quests do not need to be reported to the reps. Talk to the person you helped to mark the quest as completed. Oh, for the love of God. Each quest you complete earns you member points. Collecting these improves Kasuga's member rank, granting him access to special weapons and more rewarding quests. Challenge quest involves missions, uh, various missions based on everyday tasks, and when they are completed, your personality will improve in accordance with each entry. Rewards for challenge quests completed before meeting hero will be automatically added. And that's about it. Now get out there and save the day, hero. Talk about a lot of information at once. I like where this is going. <laughs> he has four cats. Extra cash. And it's nice being called a hero. Oh, well, that was sub story 12. <laughs> We're just knocking these out really fast. Oh. 
All right, and we've got more going on. Oh, hey, we leveled up in multiple, uh, multiple stats. Now we're knuckleheads, apparently. A lot of in-game achievements as well. A bug enthusiast. To get the business minigame, you have to play the main story. RIP. This isn't exactly what I pictured. Can the game stop telling me I'm a good boy? The image I've always had of Yokohama is kind of loud and flashy. Like Chinatown. Or if you want loud, these notifications. Shai Nichiban. Huh? You moron. Oh, what crawled up your asses all of a sudden? Don't even mention Chinatown around here. Well, the Chinatown you're thinking of is basically a tourist attraction on the other side of the station. People living here are the ones who got driven out of that area a long time ago. <sighs> so you're saying there was a turf war in Chinatown? What are they, Yakuza? Okay. Truth isn't far off. After the war, Chinatown was still raking it in, while the Chinese living here were scavenging for scraps. The gap was so drastic, they felt they deserved to be in on the action, even if they had to take it by force. But that didn't exactly work out. That grudge has simmered for all those years, and to this day, it's the backbone of the Yokohama Leomon. Wow. Damn. People living here are basically the descendants of the ones who got run out of Chinatown. They lost the war, but they had nowhere to go. So, talking like a dumbass is gonna make even the Commonwealth glare at you, not to mention the Leomon. I mean, I feel like talking like a dumbass would just make anyone glare at you, regardless of, like, affiliation okay. with the Mafia or not. I'll keep my mouth shut about Chinatown. God! Just remember, we're on Leomon turf now. Don't let on that we're trying to catch Mabuchi. Start with some small talk so nobody gets suspicious. Uh, so how about that weather? Uh, take it down to Leomon, am I right? Oh, shit. When you see the opportunity to ask about Mabuchi, go for it. We clear. Got it. Got it. All right, so we can finally explore. Let's chat it up. What up? So, how about that Leomon, huh? Bet you wish they were dead. <laughs> this town's so scenic. Eh, scenic? Yeah, the buildings have that old school feel to them. I bet I could get some pretty sweet pics. Not to be rude, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. If you stop rounding around restaurant row with a camera. Uh, is that bad? You say someone rough might pop out? And by that, you wouldn't happen to mean the Yokohama Leomek. That is a terrible segue. You get what you deserve, dude. That was just... That was just dumb. Ooh. We can get some nice armor in here. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Might be able to... Hmm? Oh, I guess we can't even talk to them yet. I was hoping to get some equipment for our new party member, but I guess not. Uh, let's see. What's going on down here? Hey. Good evening. My man, you are totally ripped. Impressive. <laughs> All right. Working out every day, Pesa. Oh, he's one of these guys. Great. You gotta be tough in my line of work. Yeah, we know. Gym life 24-7 or some shit. So you, uh, work behind the scenes? Uh. That's right. But if you're in Restaurant Road, that would mean you're... Le I'm a theater stagehand! Really? People think working backstage is easy, but you gotta be pretty fit to do all that heavy lifting. That is true. As a- as a theater student... from high school, I can vouch. Some of that shit's heavy. I've worked at concerts at college before. You never know how heavy a speaker is until you have to lift one. Sorry? This is the Yokohama Leomanx turf, isn't it? When would you happen to know where their boss Mabuchi is? Go on, man. Okay, Kasuga, let me be honest with you, buddy. You suck at talking to people! You're literally just saying, Hey, nice day, bet you wish the Leomong would, you know, get killed or whatever, huh? Like, that's not how this works. But also, we found a nail. 
I guess we could say you nailed it. If you think I have any shame, then I don't know what to say to you. Hey. Good evening. I'm an old man talking to a child. Nothing wrong about this. Hey, good evening. Hey, so which one's better? Bean paste buns or steam buns? Steam buns. Okay, what about steam buns versus Chinese buns? Chinese buns. <laughs> okay, but when it comes to fruit filling, would you choose melon or liamango? I'm sorry, did, did you just try to say liamong as liamango? Are you stupid? Uh, liamango? I mean, you have to have heard of the Yokohama liamong, right? Mommy, this man is weird! I figured that would be obvious. I mean, look at his hair. You made a total ass of yourself, dude. Damn. Forget Mabuchi, they won't even talk about the Liamont. Do you really expect them to? That's just how loyal they are, I guess. I don't feel like we're gonna get to Mabuchi at this rate. Don't throw in the towel yet, man. We've barely even started asking you around. I feel like this is driving you further away from the goal, though. Hold on. Maybe not the results we wanted, but it looks like it was effective all the same. How? Oh. Yeah, this might be an issue. Hmm? Leo Bog? No doubt about it. Listen. Might want to get back. Far back. She literally fights with us, you idiot. What do you mean, why? This is dangerous for a woman. Hey. Wow, Nanba. It's 2021, dude. Equality, bitch. No need to tear me a new one. I feel like she had every right to stand her ground there. Ew. You're the Japanese one sniffing around for the Liamong. What do you mean? We just want some authentic food. Don't fuck with me. What's your game? <sighs> no. You got the wrong people. We have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> He's right. We just wanted to find a good spot to get some grub. Ellipses. Well, shall we get back on the hunt? Ellipses. Ellipses. But in Chinese. Hey. Come on, let's just go. Eh, they aren't gonna let us leave. May as well drop the act. Hey! Why are you snooping around for us? Tell me straight, look, dude. I just really want your autograph. Okay. Fine, I'm a nice guy, so I'll level with you. The owner of the soap line I was working at got killed. And it sounds like your boss, Mabuchi, played a part in that. So tell me where he is. <laughs> oh my god, can you be any more direct? <laughs> No, at least it saves us the trouble of asking around, doesn't it? This again. Give me a break. I swear, Namba sounds like Eeyore at this point. So that's what you're after. Hey. Oh, he's bringing in the whole squad. That's the reaction we're getting. I'd say Mabuchi is looking more and more guilty. Yeah. Nice. Ah, so being an idiot actually worked. Is this really the time for that? Nah, but you don't have a choice. I was ready for this ages ago. You got a man up or what? Oh, she told him! Scary. Hey, call up the guy at Plum Garden. Tell him to sharpen his knives for skinning. Oh my god, the guy smiling in the back. He's like, I have a lust for blood. Once you tear their filthy skins off, use them for manju. Oh, human manju. So creative. It's the way of the Liamong to skin our victims alive. Don't worry, you black out and forget the pain pretty quick. <laughs> Hell of a threat. Now come on. Oh boy. This is gonna be tough. Let's see. Uh, let's boost our attack. Somehow that boosts attack. Okay. 
let's see. Who do we spray fire at? Hey. Let's go tag team on. Oh, there's no leader. This one. Yeah. Oh, that didn't do much. This looks like the last one. Okay, that was fairly difficult. Definitely a bit nervous about how that battle was gonna go. Hey. Alright, enough. Where's Mabuchi's hideout? Talk! If you're gonna kill me, get it over with. What? You won't find a single Leomong soft enough to give up our brothers because of a little pressure. <laughs> Not even if you kill us. Oh, bullshit. Yo. Cut it out. Damn. Man, not a single one talk. Talk about being faithful. Well, I mean, they're kinda known for being faithful. I thought we figured that out. Yakuza could learn a thing or two from them. Yeah, when people hit rock bottom, loyalty's all you got left sometimes. Hey. It's all very impressive, but how are we gonna find Mabuchi now? They only even come out in public and won't talk when we do catch them. Huh. It's too bad they're just not some scrubby Liamong who's not really feeling the gangster thing who'd betray them at the drop of a hat. That sounds oddly specific. Which means we're gonna find a party member exactly like that. I could think of one. Really? <laughs> there is one scrubby Leomong who's not into it. Remember the guy who tried to shake us down? Zhang, that's right. He's a Leomong too. Oh, the guy from the homeless shelter area. Just this asshole who, could who collected protection money from us back at the homeless camp. He's greedy as hell. Well, cash would probably go a long way. So where do we find the Zeng guy? Mm. Wish I could tell you, but... Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> oh. There he is. That shiny scalp loser. That's him, all right. He's not a shiny scalp loser. That's rude. He's a bald asshole. <laughs> Never thought I'd find him this quickly. I've still got it. It was a coincidence, man. Come on, can't you let me have even one thing? Listen. Zhang, huh? I don't know, he looked pretty into the job. 
Don't judge a book by its cover. The bigger they're acting, the less they're packing. That is a good quote. The bigger they're acting, the less they're packing. That is really interesting. More or less. But why are you getting all flustered? Yo. Let's just go talk to him. Alright, so like one of you was saying... Oh, wow, we are low on health. Uh, let's use items first. Uh, eat some onigiri. Uh, you know what, screw it. We're gonna eat all of the onigiri. And you said change Seiko to the idle job. Uh, seems like she doesn't really have a choice. I'm assuming we open the idle job, like, in a few levels. I'm not too sure, though. Doesn't seem to say where we unlock it. Actually, we should probably go heal before we go in there, because he's probably going to fight us. Oh, I thought I saw a safe for a second. Hi, hey, we didn't just beat up, like, six people outside. I don't like that. Every time they say that. Tasty. Sounds like uh, that's when Solid Snake says it. Alright, let's go on up. Got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir, did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry. But this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a host. Well, we do know one of your customers. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? Just tell him you're not a cop! Like hiring illegal immigrants? Is that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? Ooh, power moves. Huh? You know, a translation for that sign would be really helpful. We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. Oh? So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh my god! Uh, I mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. Yo, she's pulling out all the power moves. Fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. She is the best addition to this party, to hands down. You to be hired on a trial basis. Of course, I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. He can hear you. 
You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't In both worry, ways. I can take care of myself. All right. But be careful, will you? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Wow. Power moves, ladies and gentlemen. Is this really going to work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. <laughs> Damn. Well, Kasuga's got a point. Well, let's just wait for her to get in touch. Hey. We might end up having to fight Zhang, so let's be ready for that. Good point. Our weapons are all just things we picked up off the street. Hey, I'll have you know I spent 10,000 yen on this vibrator, and I intend to use it to its full potential. <clears throat> you got anything better? We were broke and unemployed until a few days ago. We're still broke. I'd get new shit for everyone if it didn't cost so much damn money. Again, 10,000 yen vibrator. Actually, I remember hearing about a factory in the red light district with an engineer who's got an eye for that. We asked him, maybe he'd make us some better stuff. Okay. Probably cheaper than buying new stuff. Hey. Cool. Let's check out this factory while we wait for Saiko then. Oh my god, can I make a golden vibrator? Don't mind me coming through. No empathy for humans. No, but seriously, where's the nearest taxi? I gotta, like, disappear. There we go. Alright. See, this is why I'm glad we have fast travel now. I'm just really excited to get into that business minigame now, because I really want to get some yen rolling in. All right, what do we got? Actually, do we have any saves? <gasps> oh, items! I haven't been finding as many as the, uh, as many of those uh, silver saves as I thought we would be, because those seem to have really good items. This is that workshop Adachi was talking Anybody about. Here? Hey, excuse me. Oh. You need something? Why does she remind me of Tifa uh, from uh, Final Fantasy VII? Bats. Do you, uh, work here? That yeah. Kasuka's getting I'm tense. Sumire I run this Wait, Sumire? You can believe that. The amount of the Persona manager? 5 connections I can what? make here. Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? What? What? That's well, it not. To me, like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty too. Ah. Yeah, uh... Something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes! <laughs> Wait till you see my vibrate. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna just stop right there. <laughs> just this once, I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah, fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. There are silver and gold safes. Well, yeah, but we don't have any gold safe keys yet. To work right away. Holy shit! Let's do this. Oh. She seems way too psyched about this, but hey, what do I know? I bought a limited edition of a game, so what do I know? That's what I'm talking about. Why is the glowy part around that area? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. That's, I said nothing. That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Yo! Yo! That thing looks like it's brand new. 
<laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. That's what she said. <laughs> you sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. That and is unfortunately as as true. Dad tried to keep this place going. He wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad who opened this place was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me. Mike sus. Even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> oh my god, that is the perfect clip. <laughs> you the best you possibly can. And I'm sending that to everybody. Right <laughs> that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, all right? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else, I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rachan. You know, with all the clips that I've been getting of this, I just might be able to make, like, a highlight reel, which is gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna be, like, 50% me joking about fisting, and, like, 50% other sexual innuendos. It's gonna be just wonderful. <laughs> But you can craft and enhance your weapons at the Romance Workshop. Scavenging the streets for materials and investing in the workshop's amenities will allow you to craft a wider variety of gear. Be sure to take full advantage of the workshop and improve your arsenal. Alright, well we do have tons of materials, especially after, um, after the DLC code that I was given when I bought a copy of this game, so... Uh, we'll have to see what we can do right now. I aced the interview. I'm about to start serving customers so you guys can swing by when you're ready. I'll make sure you get in if you name drop me. Got it. Alright, Saiko is ready for us, but we're not ready for her. We've got some stuff to do. Let's see. Let's try crafting. Nail bed. Uh, we're definitely going to want to compare. I really like the compare feature. We can make the thunder crack bat? Yo. Oh, wait. No, we can't. Dang it. We can make flaming lumber. So if we just get a few pieces of dirty iron, five scorpions. Don't know where we would find those at this point in the game. Uh, we have a lot of potential here. Uh, but the flaming lumber might be tempting. Uh, icy traffic wand. So I guess Adachi can use wands. Today I learned. Actually, 
22, 12, it's a... We might actually craft this for a dachi, because that looks like a really good weapon. Um... Else. Oh, we'll take yellow wine. Well, we can make it, but I guess we don't have anyone that can use that. Or the metal anklet. So I guess these other ones are for party members we don't have yet. Bastard soda. How do you make bastard soda out of glass and plastic? Soda has liquid. Like, what? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give Adachi the. Actually, wait, no. We're gonna see if we can strengthen these weapons. Well, we could strengthen this one. If we get two more dirty iron, then we can definitely uh, do that. Um. Then in that case, we're gonna go for the wand for Adachi. Not worth it. What the wand or the bat? Wow. Dick. <laughs> Why did we get an achievement just called Dick? How was that an achievement? <laughs> the bat. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna say the wand isn't worth it because I would have just been like, bruh. Alright, uh, 60,000 yen for a pirate hat? Hell no! You can't afford any of this. This stuff is literally 2 million yen. That's crazy considering the stat boosts. Or the lack of. Wow. So like, what can we actually- we can't afford anything. Holy shit. And then we could strengthen the wand. Which I'm thinking of doing, because, like, that's another boost for stats. And for only 5,000 yen, I really think that is pretty worthwhile. Boost damage done by cold type attacks, which we don't have yet. Should change the party's jobs. Gotcha. I might upgrade this before changing jobs. No, no, we're actually gonna... We're gonna not do that. Uh, party's jobs. Let's see, Ichiban. Oh, we're the hero right now. That seems to be really good. He still has the job of homeless guy. He's still detective. He can't really change any of the jobs. So I don't know what you want me to do here. Oh, you have to go to Hello Work. Oh, I'm dumb. Alright, then we'll look into that. Actually, we could do that right now. So yeah, let's go do that. Shit, where's Hello Work again? Uh, I believe that's in this area. Uh. I was kind of hoping we could upgrade the vibrator just to make it like an OP weapon. Let's see. Hello, work. Elite? Is this hello, work? Popo. Wait, it might actually be up here. It's a survive bar. I'm still trying to get the hang of the map, so, like, if I don't remember where, like, an obvious location is, then I'm sorry to those watching. It, I mean, it's a big map. You can't really blame me for this one. Uh, well, I guess you could. Uh, where the hell is Hello Work? Because I want to say it was around this area. This is just a can quest. 
Oh, you know what? It probably is around here. What am I talking about? Because that is... To the right of the pawn shop. Which I'm pretty sure we're close by. Let's see, we can just find the pawn shop easily on here, right? Yeah. Benton Pawn. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So, just gotta loop around. Something going on over- Oh, that's right, that's part of the new, uh, part-time hero thing. Shit. Oh wait, no, we just go up. Up here, no? Oh wait, no, I'm stupid. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Da 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 oh, damn it. I have a habit for taking, like, the most convoluted ways to get places. It's right next to the pawn shop. There ain't no damn pawn shop. Well, the pawn shop is here. Oh, there it is. Not able to talk to you? What the hell? Can't talk to any of these guys. Do we just go like around the back? Dang, I thought we could walk in and be like, Sup, bitch! Hell, we're literally in Hello Work. Did I like break the game or something? Maybe check the board? Wait, how was there a silver safe here that I never found? A rugged cane. Wow, that doesn't do shit. Oh, we're, we're at hello work. Oh wait, it's probably the free open seat. No, I'm just really dumb. What? Do I gotta like wait or... Oh, you know what? It might be because it's nighttime. That might be it. I'm gonna feel really stupid once I figure out what you're actually supposed to do. It's like, I feel like I softlocked the game. Do the old walk out and go back in. Okay, walk out. Walk back in. I feel like I'm just really missing something here. So itchy. What about you guys sitting in chairs? Y'all got jobs for me?
Okay, I am genuinely confused. Okay, maybe I didn't walk out far enough. Oh, you know what? Just get into a battle, and then just do the battle. Maybe that'll just, like, reset the NPCs. Reset the NPCs. <laughs> you guys are totally not gonna believe this. We totally just beat up like two guys in the back alleyway. By the way, can I have a job? Okay, listen guys, beating up homeless people is definitely a resume builder. Y'all are just too scared to try it. Bunch of fucking wishy-washies. Don't tell me you've never beat up a homeless guy. Like, what, what about you? We're gonna call you Jim. Jim? You ever beat up a homeless guy, Jim? Bet you have it, cause you suck. What are you even looking at, Jim? Look at the sign with the arrow. Can't go up there. There's a wet floor sign. Yeah? You try you try to get rid of that wet floor sign? Jim, piece of shit. Uh, I am way too salty for my own good. Woman at the end, she's not talking to me. She won't let me talk to her. Is she, like, is she blind or something? We are three homeless guys, or previously homeless guys, looking for a job. You are looking right at us. Adachi, shut up! Uh, I think I saw fuck the game. <laughs> We're getting the walkathon achievement just by trying to get it to hello work. Man, my back is killing me. Mike really sus? What you mean I'm sus? What is this clip? Just such an asshole to everybody in this game. <laughs> like, like and subscribe and share the video if you've ever beat up a homeless person. No, actually, like, honestly, I should probably say right now before I push the joke any further. Uh, don't beat up homeless people. It, d don't do that. Don't beat up people. I mean, if they deserve it, then sure, but usually they don't. In this case, I swear to God, I'm gonna beat her up because she won't even acknowledge me. She's probably got the eyes on Jim. <laughs> well, you saying an ex Yakuza can't get a job, but Jim can? Is that what you're telling me? Well, I shall take my patronage elsewhere. Good day. Please give me a job, I swear to god, I'll do anything, I'll go back to a soap plant if I have to! <laughs> no, but I'm actually not sure what's happening with the game. Um... We might just have to go to... Um... 
We might have to go back to Chinatown because uh, I guess we're just not able to get jobs or switch jobs right now. Either way, I'm not wasting any more time over here. Alright, we're gonna go down to... The Cinema. Contentious Taxi. Don't judge me for supporting public transport. Also, apparently our style went up from getting into a taxi. Okay. Don't know how that works. <laughs> Face first into the door. Ow. Oh, hello. welcome. So it's one of those kinds of places. Welcome. She didn't even bow. No respect. Whoa, <laughs> pretty nice way to be greeted. I feel like Nanba's just like subtly horny. Sexy as hell. Never mind. I, I, I it's no not subtle. Place like this was on Restaurant Row. Why is everybody here horny Focus, except for guys. Ichiban? We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. She's already getting VIP, VIP people. Yeah, it's in the back. She's already getting people in the VIP room. Let's go. You know, I mean, she's spending Funny time back there. So she cleaned, May she as well, you know, <laughs> make the most of this, am I right? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. Oh. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. Yikes. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Nanba. Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. How were they open about this? There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah. You seen him? He's the absolute worst. Yo, None of us want to deal with I'm surprised him. this actually worked. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Sayako's with them right now? Let yeah. me out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary. Your boss said I could have my oh, he's all hunched over. Shut he's up. got the shit-eating grin. Okay. Wow. This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit. Well, that's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck wow. are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot. I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. Things got what? from zero to hundred real friggin' now you fast. Tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh, so you want to go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, 
I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. Blackmail! What will you do then? You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Uh, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? Well, it happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor, helpless bums. Well, it's that answers that. For regret, don't you think? No, because I still regret going easy on you. You didn't go easy on me. Are you kidding me? I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers. These guys think they can make a joke out of the Leo mom. Kill them where they stand. Throw their bodies into the bay so the fish can eat them. Yes, yes sir. sir. I mean, we ain't really making jokes. About the Liamong, we're just making jokes about you and your lack of faithfulness to the Liamong, but same difference. Defensive stance. Okay. I'm gonna raise our attack. I'm gonna go tag team on him. 222, all right. Now we're in a tight space, so this really helps. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Try boxer size blow. Oh, well, that did not go well. Oh, damn. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Let's go pyro belch on him. Oh, weak to fire. That's helpful. Snooze. Nice. Breaking top. All right, getting plenty of skills. Too many skills and not enough levels. Now don't die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you. You think I tell you anything? Yes. So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? No. Have some <laughs> faith in me, will you? I'm not an asshole. Could have fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker. Hey, bring the manager in here. I want to tell him how the honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps. Okay, I'll talk. I'll talk. What the hell do you want to know? I like how everybody's just gone. Not even the manager came in to see what the hell happened. I mean, the place was on Seiryu planned turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. It was 100% the Liamon. sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Or that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? No, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But, but, you're Liu Meng. The Yokohama Liu Meng was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are Ni Hao and JJ. Hello and thank you. Well, you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. 
Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. I mean, you're the mafia. Why would the country accept you anyway? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Leo mom. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. Korean, huh? So he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. Not even like carrier pigeon, smoke signals. Not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. Wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We, we could have gone all the way. Something about your own boss is all. <laughs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. As you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? How would they? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. You ain't Seriously, sorry. Stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong, anyhow. He's basically saying, I'm sorry, but... but... Hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? But so you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san, but I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. I used to work there part-time and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? You got a job and stayed there for an evening. Don't even give him shit. Shut up. You two don't know shit. Loading freight's exhausting. Hey, guys. What if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Jang said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. Uh, you're forgetting nice a Liuman warehouse gig. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, for the oh, love really? of God. You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello World. The misogyny is strong with this one. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. 
What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. I don't blame Imagine you. Repeating myself, we won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? <sighs> I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. Thanks for not being a prick. Well, <laughs> he still oh, is. While I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? No. Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? Consent. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's all about consent. But wow, that was just like messed up. <laughs> like, wow. I'm not even laughing because it was funny. I'm more laughing because I'm shocked that got past hey. the ESRB. Doesn't look like they're gonna let us do that. Guess we stood out too much. Oh, we're Yo. dead. Got slipped through somehow. We can make it to Romance Street. They'll have to be more careful about starting trouble. Got it. Let's go. Oh shit! Whoa, we are running. through here sorry but not entirely uh crap where do we go from here wait is this a whole new bruh literally we just had like this much of the map available to us and now we got all of that is that impressive or what? This is a huge game. Oh, wait. No, never mind. I'm dumb. We already had access to that because that's where Dragon Cart was. This game is still cool, damn it. Oh, we're going completely the wrong way. Shit. Yeah, we're going back. <laughs> oh shit into the alley they're safe over here no there is not well, there is an item. Carrot seedlings. Yay! Agricultural degree, baby! Actually, wait, no. Just take the fair. What are we talking about? Really hoping we get access to that management mini game soon. I'm sorry to think like I don't have much stream time left, but uh, I'm thinking we might have to run into that next episode. <laughs> Here we go. safe now <sighs> time to head on back for the evening see you in front of hello work tomorrow hold on who's up for a nightcap in the room wow it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home adachi san wait doesn't she have somewhere to go this is really nice to see what is how you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Ah, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. 
If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. So I guess she does have a home? Oh, yo, he's interested. He's interested. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, you want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Yo, she's in. She's in. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. We reeled her in, boys. That sounds really bad. <laughs> Yeah, she is not amused. Wait, is this? Yep. Yep. Don't judge <laughs> too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijincho. It was Grandfather Dan, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> finally sweet talked a girl into coming here. Who's the lucky lady? No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. A single That's chip isn't betting big, isn't though. Hmm. Such a... Hmm. Well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. Oh, I think it's official. She's one of the guys. Because you know what they say. I mean, it may only be Friday, but in about a half hour, it's going to be Saturday. Saturdays are for the boys. But for us, Saturdays are for the boys and Psycho. <laughs> uh, my head hurts. Same. Hey. What's wrong, guys? We're off to hell at work, so look alive. Damn, Sasha, and you feel totally fine after drinking all that? Really? That was practically a nightcap. For real? He did not just say for real. You guys are pathetic. Who was the one saying he'd give it his best shot? Hey, yeah. It's a game in gear. We're heading to hell at work. J sure. I've never met a woman who holds her liquor like she can. Quite a compliment coming from you. Alright, well, let's go. And a sub story? Uh, is that a lobster? Huh? What's that thing? Do you not know what a lobster oh, is? A crawfish. What's it doing out here? Evidently, you I don't know what a crawfish water. is. Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. Mon voyage, little Yeet. buddy. No, oh, my sweet Nancy. Oh, rip. Oh, my poor girl. I don't see her anywhere at all. Did you not just see us, Yeeter? Tell me. That crawfish just now was yours? Yep. Raised her with my own two hands, I did. Her name's Nancy. Normally, we stroll around the neighborhood together and get us some exercise. That sweet little gal was my only beacon of hope in this dark, cruel world. Oh, Nancy! Dude, I'm so sorry. 
If I knew she was important to you, I never would have done that. I understand. You did it with good intentions. Besides, it's my fault for taking my eyes off her. Surprisingly enough, this is not the weirdest well, thing I've seen in this game. I don't see her anywhere. Unfortunate as it is, she's probably gone for good. But don't dwell too much on it. I'm just another nobody. That crawfish must have meant the world to him. He even gave it a name. Hold on there, old timer. I'll go find Nancy and bring her back. You'll eat me up inside if I don't. Huh? Why, well, that's certainly generous of you. But can you really find her? Well, I can give it a shot. Gee, thanks. Giving her best shot, you. huh? Oh, and I'm Ebihara. I call these streets my home. If you do get hold of Nancy, uh, could you come find me along Sakura River Street? Uh, that's my usual spot. Of course. And I'm Kasuga. I'll be back with Nancy in no time. One thing I should tell you is Nancy has an X-shaped scar on her back. Uh, that help? An X-shape on her back. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully she hasn't gone far. If I'm lucky, I'll find her downstream. Has it gone far? You freaking yeeted her. Well, that was a turn of events. Uh, hello work, that's right. Alright, so it looks like we can finally switch our jobs, like Red was suggesting, so let's go do that. Well, I was probably gonna play a lengthy cutscene, so whoop-de-doo, as if we haven't gotten enough of those, am I right? Hmm, the Yokohama Trading Company. I had heard they were in the market for part-timers lately. How convenient! Okay. Really? Apparently their shipments from China are picking up and they need more dock workers to unload them. It's perfect timing. Could you cast a sign there? That'd be easy enough, but... I've heard some not-so-great rumors about the Yokohama Trading Company. What? Like what? They mainly import expensive ingredients like shark fin and abalone. It's all first-class stuff. Every Chinese restaurant in Japan is trying to buy from them because they sell them well below market prices. Okay. We've heard the same. You'd think they'd be selling in large quantities for small profits. Which would mean they might even lose money sometimes, yet they seem to be expanding quickly. What do the rumors have to say about that? Hmm. Most common one is that some kind of fraud. Like maybe the ingredients aren't first class after all. But then they change the labels to make them look higher grade. Otherwise there'd be no explanation for how they could be profitable. I know it's just rumors, but are you sure you want to work at a place like that? Well, yeah. <laughs> Money. Hell yeah, it's actually just the info we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Huh? We're gonna get jobs at this train company and find evidence that they're frauds. Why would you tell him that? So this is another undercover investigation. Don't you think this is pretty risky? Uh, yeah, that's how investigations are. Yeah. We know it is. But if we get cold hard proof, Mabuchi will have no choice but to meet with us. Mabuchi? The owner of the Yokohama Trading Company. I see. So your goal here is to just meet him? That only makes me worry more. Do you know Mabuchi, Kanbei-san? Hmm. You stay here long enough, you eventually learn the name of a crime lord or two. But I imagine you know that. So does that have something to do with Nanamaya-san? I won't say too much, but I will say I still feel like an employee of Otohimi Land. Nonomaya San treated as well. I want to know why he died. I see. I can understand that, but please be careful. Not even the police can get close to Mabuchi and his gang of ruffians. One wrong move and your life may be in danger. Yes. It's okay. Survival is our first priority on the job. So, do you think you can get us those jobs? Hey, you're not exactly the type to change his mind once you make it up, are you? 
We'll be fine. We've got another new ally, after all. So the young lady is with you. A pleasure. <laughs> Your party is getting pretty unique. In that case, let me get in touch with the client. It'll take me a few. But while you're looking, why not do some contract work? Uh, what do you mean? So. Well, without taking me land, I've commissioned you back to being unemployed. Hmm. And you only want this warehouse gig to get info. You're playing the long game, but you still need to have income. Mm. That's true. There's been so much going down, I forgot we're basically broke again. Well, now that you have some experience under your belts, I should be able to find some work for you. Why don't you speak with Ririka over there about it? You. She takes a while to warm up to people, but her work is impeccable. Got it. I'll talk to her then. Thanks. Oh, this bitch. Excuse me. My name is Kasuga. I know. You're the director's favorite formerly homeless go-getter, aren't you? Sussy! Am I right in assuming that you're here to find work again now that Otohime land is shut down? Yeah, uh, so what should we do now? Since this is the first time you'll be using our services without going through the director, let me explain. Yeah, and thanks a bunch. Okay, take a look then. You could change jobs at Hello Work. Each character is suited for different jobs, so be sure to choose ones that work for each party member. Jobs will become available as you progress through the main story. However, you will not be able to change a job, uh, change to a job until you meet its prerequisites. Changing a character's job will cause them to wear a uniform associated with that job. You can freely select from the uniforms available. That about covers it. Wow, that was really fast. More jobs once everyone starts gaining experience. <laughs> oh, buddy, I've got plenty. Limited right now, but you'll find many more jobs are available once you've made some progress. Uh, I gotcha. Anyway, here's what I have at the moment. Of course, you're responsible for any adjustments you must make when you change jobs. What do we got? This is oddly epic music for changing jobs. Let's see, so bodyguard and breaker. <laughs> oh, that looks weird. Fortune Tower. <laughs> Let's see. We're kind of close to being a four man. Um, blade resistance, blunt resistance. I'm thinking we might go bodyguard. Hero is the best for Kasuga? Gotcha. What about Nanba? Breaker, Musician, and Bodyguard. I'm thinking Musician, actually. That might be the best one for him. And also, he just looks like a hippie. <laughs> Let's see, Bodyguard. That just increases Blade Resistance, although he does wear a nice uniform. Oh my god, that looks ridiculous on him. Let's see, what kind of skills do we got? Guitar Crush, Album Drop, We Are the Globe, Lowers Attack of All Enemies, Endless Desire, Recovers All Allies HP and May Raise Your Voltage. What do we got for Bodyguard? Huh. Breaker? I'm thinking musician because that actually like gives us a healing skill. Let's see, be my shelter. Absorb an enemy's MP with a song that makes them want to support you. Yeah, we're gonna go musician for Nanba. Saiko as an idol is the best for healing. Okay, that's good to know then. Pattern A, pattern B. Nurse costume, funeral suit, and Goro Majima Yakuza Zero version. Oh yeah, I'm assuming that's part of the um, DLC that I have. I'm thinking musical pattern B, just because that looks hilarious. Uh, 
But also, that just looks really badass. Although, it wouldn't make sense to be wearing this uh, costume because I have never played Yakuza 0. Like, this is my first Yakuza game. So, we're probably gonna go musician uh, uniform. And then Adachi, bodyguard foreman, and enforcer. Hmm. Boss hammer, healthy routine. Oh, it's a tank class. Okay, that's actually good for Adachi. He seems to be quite the uh, tank already. Let's see, strike down. Damage an enemy with a powerful shield strike, and then transfer shield. Shield blast. Hmm. Yeah, we're probably gonna go Enforcer for Adachi. It's looking like the best idea. Although I like the bullet resistance that 4-man has, but oh well. Pattern A, Pattern B, Security Guard, Funeral Suit, Kazuma Kiryu, Yakuza 0 version. He looks pretty good in that one. Yo, that looks actually pretty cool on him. I think we're actually gonna go with the Yakuza 0 version for him, because that it just fits him so well. And then Psycho. We are one level up. She is so close to getting idol. Like she is like this close to getting level 15. Uh, so we're definitely gonna switch her to that. Uh, hostess, what does that do? Card shot, sparkling cannon. That is pretty good. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're not gonna change her job just yet. We're gonna level her, level her up to level fifteen, and then we're gonna come back in here and uh, switch her to uh, idol. Roger that. So this is how we change jobs. Yes, just talk to me when you want to try out something new. There's no limit to the number of times you can switch, and you can always resume your previous job, too. You may even want to try a bunch out to see which one feels right for you. Nice. I definitely didn't think it'd be this easy to switch jobs. No, trust me, well, it's that's not. in part due to how I'm only able to offer you easy jobs right now. And because I'm the one handling all the paperwork. Just keep that in mind. Uh, sure. I'll remember that. And Best class for Nama is okay. homeless. Now, as for that part-time job at the Yokohama Trading Company, he is a bit varied. I will give him that. About. They called us to say you were hired. No, really? Yes, they'd like to start you straight away. But right now, even the warehouse you'll be working in is north of Hamakita Park. It's not exactly walkable, so I'd recommend taking the train. Got it. Thanks, River Kachan. We'll be back when we need to change jobs. Looking forward to it. All right, so we'll switch Namba to homeless and glad you're so uh, Psycho to uh, idle once we level her up. So killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. Let's get to the warehouse from Jinai Station. All right, let's just like get into a scrap real quick. Yo! Any local Yagaza want to beat the shit out of a chick? That... wow, okay. That sounds bad, but I'm well-meaning, I swear. Uh... We're just gonna do that. You're gonna get 
he slipped in his own lube. <laughs> That was the best, the best text box I've ever seen. Um, Namba, I don't think you want to get that close to him. Alright, cool. Thanks for beating us up, uh, weirdos. Um... Pretty sure it's this way back to hello work, right? Or am I just really fucking stupid? Yeah, wow, I really am just that stupid. Oh, we got these two jokesters. Just gonna, like, inch around them. Don't worry about- fuck. Actually, wait, what am I doing? Just... Wait a suckers. Alright, just quickly run on back to hello work. We're totally going the wrong way again. <laughs> Who knew that the best job you could have for somebody is just being homeless? Quick! Uh, this job sucks. I want to be homeless again. You, we're gonna go back to homeless guy. Screw it, we're gonna go with Yakuza Zero costume. Sayuko, become an idol. Idle pen A, B. Okay. Ah! That's the dress from earlier. Haruka Sawamu. What the fuck is that? Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with idle pattern A. I kinda like this design the most. You're doing great. I'm sure you'll do great. Alright, so now, as for gear, go with the most optical gear for everybody. I guess everything is the most optical. Uh, we should probably go sell some gear that we already have, because I'd imagine some of the gear that we have isn't exactly the best. Uh... Maybe go down to the pawn shop for that? Nope, you don't see us. Let's see, let's sell some stuff. Let's see, gear... What isn't equipped by any of us? Cotton gloves. Just increases dexterity. Flame amulet, no. That's equipped, equipped. Iron pipe. Well, we don't need this anymore. We are keeping our giant vibrator, thank you very much. And selling that. Don't need that anymore. Oh, that's right, that's equipped. Uh, long shoehorn, not gonna need that anymore. I could swear that was equipped. Uh, let's go buy some stuff. Oh, that's right, he doesn't sell that kind of stuff. Okay. Um... I think in this very sketchy looking alley... Uh, we're gonna see... Where else we should go... It's a romance workshop... Hmm... 
Oh, maybe we should go into the Zhaolong distribution. That may be the best place to get some stoof. Unless if that minigame is open right now. Unless if we haven't gotten to that part in the story. Uh, I'm not sure where we are quite yet. Uh, actually... Hmm. We probably should look at stuff for Psycho first. Because she still has, like, her uh, starting weapon. And I'm pretty sure there was an option for a weapon just for her at some point. Wait a second. Did I just see a silver safe? I'm just really, like, hallucinating right now. Nope, you don't see me. Um, is this the right way? Hello, work is where we just were. Not yet the business. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. We wanted to get in the car. Uh, trust me, he did see us. I like how a bunch of gangsters saw us and they were about to fight us, but then they're just like, Oh no, these guys are gonna get a taxi. Let, let them go about their day. Just like real life. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty sure up ahead. Yes. So now are you going to talk to us? Hmm? Damn it. So we came up here for nothing? Where else can we get some armor? We have to go all the way back down there? <sighs> Screw it. We're just running. Too lazy to take a car. Do, 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 do. We are just normal people not trying to kick your ass, but if you get near us and try to kick our ass, then we'll kick your ass because we like defending ourselves. That was... I, I don't know. I'm just improvising here. Alright, uh... I believe there's a store right okay yeah right there across from that gang of five uh let's see is there an exit close to here shit or yakuza really Already ranked up, let's go. Yes. Healing plus five due to rank up, nice. Now let's go buy some gear now that we got roughed up a little bit. Uh, 
All right. Uh, pair. Oh, here we go. That's good stat boost, but that's 23,000 yen. I don't think I want to do that. This very barely boosts the stats, so that's not worth it. What about gear? Well, this seems to help. Embroidered jacket. I'm gonna buy one for Kasuga as well. Uh, good there. Let's see. Uh, now what? Uh, we could probably just cut through here. Head out to the romance workshop. Oh, actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Uh, because we might be able to get some stuff crafted. That's right, we can't go around there. And there's a gang of five. Why do I do this to myself? Yeah, screw it. You know what? YOLO! Do people even say that anymore? Uh, let's try Smash Step. Dang it. Got shunned by Saeko. Well then. And then we're gonna beat up these two. Alright, into the workshop. Do you just not sleep? Alright. Craft we actually wait, no, strength and weapon. Never mind. Okay, craft weapon. Let's see. Idle. Bastard soda. Oh, so that's who it's for. If we just had a couple more cloudy panes, we could probably make that. Oh my god! That would do wonders for her stats. Uh, Is there a place we could get Cloudy Pains real fast? Because, like, that is really good. <laughs> like, no meme. That is actually pretty good. Uh, flaming Lumber. No. Oh, that's right. We were just here. Almost guy, steel broom. Two more sturdy iron. Oh, 30,000. Never mind. Uh, if we just had some spiders and moths, we'd be able to do that. Forcer can't even unlock that yet. Damn. Oh, I forgot to check. Can we craft armor as well? Nope. Nothing! That looks like something that, uh, Saeko would wear. Uh... Nothing. A fun support? Hold up! 
How much will you invest? Oh my god, you need 200,000. Fuck you. All right. Um. Later, it's 20 million. Jeez. Well, I guess we'll be getting to that business minigame in the next episode, as I predicted. Man, things are really, uh, stepping up here. Crazy shit going on. Unlocks better weapons. That makes sense. Upgrading the workshop where you make weapons. Giving you better weapons by upgrading. Like, I figured that would be part for the course. Uh, we'll definitely look into that. That might be one of the first things we upgrade. Um... In general. Uh, cause then... I'd imagine upgrading our gear will be cheaper um, once we get rich from the business minigame. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow my Twitch channel in the description down below so you can tune in when I am live next on Wednesdays and Fridays at 9.30pm Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we did start a little bit early tonight because I was kind of... I was feeling the itch to play Yakuza, because uh, this game is super fun. I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, if there's ever a time where I'm going to be live uh, a bit earlier than usual, or maybe I can't make a stream, uh, then I will keep you posted on my Twitter at megafarrot777. Uh, I also post announcements in my Discord, so you can join that. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, link is in the description for that as well. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, it should be a link in my panels um, to join the Discord server. So, uh, next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, we are going to continue the story and going to try to get closer through our new warehouse job. We're going to get closer to the leader of the Liumang. So, we're going to throw a host over to a friend, and I will see you guys in the next one.